So, it's important we look after our cricket bat when the season's finished in, at the end of September. If you're not going to be using your bat until the following season, then I would suggest you put a, a light coat of raw linseed oil on it at the end of the playing season. Normally July, August, September is reasonably warm and that's when the bat starts to dry out. So if we get a little bit of oil on it before you put it to bed in effect for the winter, that would be perfect. Then you're going to need to make sure you store it. And this is important that you store it in a cool, dry place. It doesn't want to be next to a radiator or anywhere really hot. Likewise, it doesn't need to be anywhere where it could get damp. We want to keep it in a cool, dry place. If it's inside your bag somewhere, then make sure it's just got either some padded cover or a, a, the, you can get back covers um, either in one of those or just inside your normal bag in a padded area. It doesn't want to be next to your bowling spikes. Then, before the season starts, the next season, get your bat out again, have a look at it. If This might be a good time to assess whether it needs to be refurbished. Um, get your bat ready for the next playing season. Lots of retailers will offer that service. Pop down to, the, to your store in January, February time. Um, give your bat a bit of a makeover so you're ready for the next season. If you're continuing to use your bat all the way through the winter, as lots of people do with, with winter training, then I'd still recommend a light coat of oil at the end of the summer. Keep it in the cool, dry place where you can and then look after it as you would do normally through a normal season.